you guys like to go to Mexico? Nah, man, it's too far. Ah, uh, all right. Hey, I'm back in Southern California and my plan is to chase some snakes and meet some new people. Rosy boas and western diamondback rattlesnakes are my primary targets, but there is so much reptile diversity down here that there is still much to see. I joined up with some great YouTube herpers. My friend Ryan, aka Silence Do Good, as well as Matt, Matthew, and Neo from Crazy Kids. You can check out their channels in the video description below. We didn't find any wildlife in an abandoned train tunnel, nor did we cross the painted borderline inside, but the moment we exited the tunnel, we were intercepted by two border patrol agents. Fuck, they're gonna watch We weren't sketchy enough it. to be detained, so they let us continue our search for reptiles. Hey, get back to flipping. We hiked around a desert oasis where we counted over five species of lizards. Beautiful country and the surface water supports a ton of wildlife out here. This place is awesome. We spotted our first chuck today. He's gonna go ahead and give it a little look. Let me have the camera. We're moving in, guys. Oh, oh. Wow. All right, that was a catch right there. Good job, boss. All right, I'm here with uh, with Matt, Crazy Kids, <laughs> and uh, we found ourselves a nice little chuck walla that was cornered up here. Man, check it out. That's a cool lizard. Never caught one of these before. Nice and slow release. There we go. Oh. Another chuck, one more critter down. We're hoping to knock off as many animals as possible off, off Ian's lifer list. And if we're lucky, um, maybe even some off our life for this. My friend Nikki lived in SoCal for many years and he had a good boa tip to share. A tip on boas that was given to me by Bill Townsend, also known as Billboard from the Field Hurt Forums, is to pay attention to the shoulder of the road. More often than not, boas will come to the road, hang out in the shoulder, or even run parallel to the curb line and not cross the road. Saw a little snake outline on the side of the road, pulled over, and lo and behold, it's my target. Hey, Nikki, you were exactly right, man. A rosy boa found right on the edge of the blacktop. The tip paid off. Just a little baby. Uh. Some Northwest herping indoors. Yeah. Yeah, Yep. Easter egg, why not? I checked all the spots in here, flipped everything. So all right, all right, let's, uh, let's head on out. Keep moving, we gotta keep up, man. These guys are hard hitting herpers. Silence Do Good has invasive Moorish geckos scampering around his home and caught a few to show me. I was impressed by the bright red scales between the toes of some of the geckos and foolishly believed it to be breeding colors. Nope. These are mites from the family Trombiculidae, parasites better known as chiggers. These are not scales. I'm so dumb. All right, I got my chai, got my backpack, We've got a Gatorade right here. Let's go do some cruising. This will be the second time I've looked for Western Diamondback rattlesnakes in Southern California. Maybe some sidewinders will turn up too. Go, 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 go! Don't stop! If I get stuck out here, I'm screwed! Go, 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 go! I found no snakes that night except for a dead patch nose snake. Skunked. Aatrox eludes me. I had the good fortune of meeting Lou Boyer, his family, and friends. Lou invited me to a resort in a large city that was thick with desert iguanas. The lizards would bask on top or under bushes in the scorching heat of the day. Lou's family friend Grant DeRuzzo had years of experience catching these lizards, so I was content to leave him to it while I filmed his technique. Oh. He used slow body movement, wiggling decoy fingers on his furthest hand to distract the lizard, while his closest hand slowly creeps towards the iguana before switching to a rapid grab. He sees the hole, he's going down the hole. Go into your home! Yoo-hoo! 
Hey, hey. The second approach usually is to drop their tail. And we, of course, don't want that to happen. So I try to not freak him out. So like that's he's the point where they it. Huh? It does look like he has. So he probably regrew that. That looks like it was a long time ago, yeah. though. Oh, way to go, Grant. Woo. Did he get you? Nope. Look at how white he is. Hey, man. Way cool, man. Yes. Good catch, Grant. Thank you. Good job, dude. <laughs> no tails were dropped. Grant was a real pro. Later that night, we loaded into a car together and went cruising for snakes in the desert. Temperatures were too cool, so we traveled further for better conditions, and this effort was only rewarded with toads. Still, a hopping good time, though. Lou picked the best career for a herper. As an airline pilot that frequently flies to places like Japan and Singapore, he often gets out into the jungle to shoot videos of some very exotic reptiles. Definitely check out his channel in the video description as he makes some awesome videos. Rolling right now. So here with Ian, Techno Indo, and Matt, Crazy Kids. Hello. <laughs> we got a soap pack. I try not to step on stuff. Thanks. The Crazy Kids gang is all here. Ruba, Ruba. That's great footage, dude. I think you're getting it. Oh, it's a gopher. <laughs> Not too shabby, boys. Yeah, I might as well have been driving blind. Oh, yeah, you're catching him real good, all right. He's leaving. <laughs> That's Yeah, I love gopher yeah. snakes. They're like one of my favorite snakes. Dudes, uh, we just cruised our second rosy boa of the night. Look at this thing. Rosy boa in situ as found. We were racing to get pizza minutes before the restaurant closed and this is when we encountered two rosy boas in a row. Normally I would prefer not to bag or move a snake but I made an exception as we had the permits to do so and it was a photo finish to get to the restaurant in time. We scarfed down our pizza, took some photos of the animals, and set them loose where they were found. Snakes making you late for stuff. Good problems to have. These are some cool snakes, man. Holy cow, Rosie Boa is one of my targets. I came down here from Seattle to find these guys, and this is uh, my second and third Rosie Boa of the trip. And uh, actually, you guys, these Rosie Boas did not mate, but there was a lot of very seductive chin rubbing going on. The little male was putting on the moves. I love these geckos. On a bright moonlit night, we saw herper Jeff Nordland on the side of the road shining rocky walls and crevices. Jeff explained that years ago, Frank Trujillo shared a tip to look in the shade of the moon. This is good food for thought. Also, another tip that was given to me by my friend Dave Zeldin is that if you're not seeing any movement on the road, then to get out of your car and shine the rock cuts in the area that you're already cruising. We got out of the car and climbed around some large boulders, which turned up a couple granite night lizards. Man, check out that pattern. This desert banded gecko lost its life to a car. Matt offers a bouquet of flowers and a eulogy to its noble spirit. One underrated thing I like about the Crazy Kids YouTube channel is how they bring snorkeling gear into desert canyon streams and swim around. California, thanks again for the good times. I had a blast. 
We really did herp all night until the sun came up. Hats off to the crazy kids for hanging in there. Thanks for watching, folks.